Tuesday market updates. So uh, we are the Tuesday after the 4th of July. So it's kind of a sluggish day for real estate. Uh, as we saw a real big decrease in showing activity this, uh, this weekend. Although that is to be expected, 4th of July is a big holiday. A lot of people are getting out of town. So I don't think you had that feeding frenzy of buyers that you had. And uh, let's look at our stats and talk about what, how that impacted our marketplace. So um, as of this morning, uh, we had 2,748 active listings. So that is a pretty significant drop from last week. Uh, last week we were at 2,990 active listings. That's a variance of 242 homes. However, I can tell you that I personally held off my own personal fix and flip and two of my clients' properties from listing this weekend simply because of the holiday. I think that we're losing about half of our audience. Uh, most of us were all driving up I-70 to sit in traffic and back down on I-70 on Monday morning. Uh, so I don't think that you had a lot of your buyers in the marketplace. And I think a lot of agents, including myself, decided to wait on those listings. So even though we do have the variance going negative to 242 listings, I'm willing to bet that next week we're gonna see kind of a spike in that because a lot of the agents that kind of withheld their listings this weekend will then be putting it on top of the other listings that are coming in next week. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a five or 600 home variance. So even though we only had 2,748 listings active this morning, I do expect that to change next week. And I don't think it's an accurate reflection of the market simply because of the holiday. A lot of people didn't want to list their homes over the holiday weekend. We saw that also in the million dollar market. We went from 582 active listings last week down to 549, that's a variance of 33 listings. Nothing to cry home about. I still see our market growing inventory week by week by week. In fact, I'm gonna go into under contracts and pendings and you're gonna see that uh, we did kind of see a pretty significant drop off in market activity this week as well. So let's drive into that number. So this morning, uh, we had 7,232 pending listings. That's a far cry from what we had just last week. Last week we had 7,668. That's a variance of 432 listings. Now this is more of what I'm actually expecting to see. I'm expecting to see less pendings uh, simply because people kind of start falling off. Believe it or not, July and August traditionally are actually slower markets in the real estate world. We sell a majority of our real estate between March and June. And then we see that second spike usually typically in September, October before quarter four slows down. Now, obviously last year, 2020 was COVID year. Um, everything was off, stats were all over the board. Uh, but traditionally looking back to 19, 18, and 17, this is what we were seeing. Uh, we're still a far cry from the 10,000 active listings, right? We're at 2,700 this morning. Uh, we should be about eight, 9,000 in the typical month of July. Uh, so we've got a ways to go to catch up with the inventory. We have been trending in the right direction. I think the dip this week is simply because of the holidays. So let me just state that a few more times to make sure that I'm very clear. Um, the pending listings in, um, in the million dollar market went from 600 down to 564. So similar thing, you're seeing 36 uh, less listings going to pending this week. Um, not so much on the holiday though, that's more of the seasonal slow, slow down and that's what I'm expecting to see. I'm expecting to see the under contracts fall off about two to 300 listings a week. And we'll keep watching that. Obviously next week's gonna be a little bit more of a normalized week versus what the data that we're getting today. Um, the big news is our closed uh, listings. So this morning we were at 5,643 uh, 5, closed listings in the last 30 days. Now that's grabbing the majority of your June market. So that's about what we sold in the month of June. I'm certainly happy to go month by month. We'll do that in another recording. Um, but that's a very strong June. That's actually a typical June for us. So we're seeing market demand come right back. We still have very similar demand with what we had in 18, 19. Uh, 2020 was off, so the June stats were a little different because we were still just getting out of COVID. And we actually saw most of our sales take place in quarters three and four. I don't expect that to happen this year. I think that quarters three and four are gonna fall off like they traditionally do. And we're gonna see market demand slow down a little bit, which should increase our inventory levels. And we actually really need that. So you buyers that have been out there offering $50,000, $60,000 over asking and still getting beat, I know it's been a rather frustrating market. I think as we see the next couple of months rolling down, you're actually going to be able to get those homes by only going like five, maybe $10,000 over asking if there's one or two offers. And actually, I just tied up a house this week where there were no offers at all. And we were able to go $25,000 below asking. So don't be afraid to do that if you've seen a property out of the marketplace for three or four weeks. You know, don't just go, oh, I don't want to make that offer. I would encourage you to make that $30,000 offer below asking because there's a good chance that you're going to negotiate to something that you're going to be comfortable with. So do keep that in mind. 
So a very strong June, 5,643 sales in the month of June. A million dollar market, 514 sales in the month of June. Uh, and that's a variance of uh, 14 listings from last week. So that's growing uh, pretty well as well. And if you think about it, there's only 5, 000, uh, 564 active million dollar listings. We're selling 514 of them in a month. That's just a smudge over a one month of inventory. So if you're popping the top, if you're thinking about scraping, now's still a great time to do it. We are still at the lack of inventory for that. Remember a balanced market and a million dollar market is probably like 12 months of inventory, which means that at this point we'd literally need like four or 5,000 listings to be balanced in the million dollar market. And we're a far cry from that. And we haven't actually seen that kind of number for a long time. We're really hovering around that 11 or 1200 listings typically this time of year. Uh, we've got about half of that. So even if you're shopping, 1.1 to 1.5, you're still going to find a pretty competitive market. Yeah, maybe 5 million to 20 million might be a little slow, um, but everything else below that is going to be uh, moving fairly quickly. So that's this week's market stats. You know, kind of an odd week because of the holiday. Uh, so we only take these stats with a grain of salt. I think next week you're going to see a little bit more accurate prediction of what the marketplace is doing, but we are starting to see more inventory and we're starting to see that market demand pull off. So that's good news for you buyers. If you're FHA, you're VA, and you've been frustrated for a little while, and you stopped looking for three or four weeks, look, it wasn't your realtor's fault. It was simply market demand. Give them a call back. Start shopping again. I think you're going to find a little bit more opportunity in the marketplace. So keep watching our market updates. Uh, please do like our Facebook page. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Definitely helps us. And join us next week for Tuesday Market Updates. Thanks.